After removing the carbon rod, it's here. I still did not wash it. Either. It's here. Mix it with this uh, dark stuff. I forgot the name of this. Is M N? I don't know. I don't remember. Manganese something. Uh, I have to wash this carbon rod to use it as another battery. And with the zinc part, there is a copper pipe inside with uh, Epsom salt and this gives me a battery with let's see have 625 millivolts and with two hundred milliamps more than two hundred milliamps let me see if I can try to see how many milliamps this gives me oops stay up in here now it is on the 10 amp scale Twenty ten ten millivolts milliamps ten milliamps at six no less than ten at uh, six hundred and twenty five millivolts. Let's check the voltage again. rising up to six hundred millivolts so I have six hundred millivolts at uh, let's say fifteen to eight milliamps Let's see how an oscillator runs with this. Let's take this plug it in. Uh, this oscillator is running with this another battery. It was a, a dead battery that I recovered from a an old uh, shaver, electrical shaver that just the, the voltage on the capacitor to die I'll wait a little bit until the voltage dies Okay, it's on the 2000 millivolts scale. Put, um, 
magnet in here and here another magnet and let's put this now the oscillator died it's with uh, 432 inside the cap and let's connect the battery oh well, it's still wet very wet I dropped uh, the water was too much inside it but there we go the oscillator is running with uh, 588 millivolts oh let me check the name of that black stuff It's M N O two. This black stuff in here. Uh, maybe I have to wash this, and it can be used again to make other batteries. And this black, uh, this carbon rod here, I have to use it too. But uh, with the zinc. There is a, a copper pipe inside, a little piece of a copper pipe, and the zinc with uh, Epsom salt and a little bit of alum and distilled water. It's running an oscillator and Well, it makes a good battery for oscillators. This is a very efficient oscillator. And let's see how long it will last. And how the, the battery will form. Well, from this cheap uh, carbon zinc batteries then we can make uh, one crystal battery with the zinc uh, part and with the carbon rod inside we can make a rechargeable battery <coughs> using uh, the carbon rod and the and uh, lead so next step is to create the lead um, carbon rechargeable battery and let's see how long uh, and how this crystal battery is uh, copper zinc how it will be uh, I dropped too much water inside and uh, let the crystal form let's see how how it goes so from one single uh, battery we can create one battery a crystal cell and another with the another rechargeable battery with uh, the carbon and lead uh, I hope that with the carbon lead I can create a better battery than this one um, because if this if the battery okay it's rechargeable battery the carbon lead but it can I it must get me put more than 1.5 volts Well, it's my first test with this. Let's see how it goes. Thanks for watching.